Oh, come now. Okay, this just looks amazing. Crap, 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 crap. Eat faster, eat faster! Combat snack, combat snack! Crap! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fed ya! Come on. You got nothing else to do? Do not aim at me! Oh, God damn it! What the fuck? Okay. Oh, <laughs> my gun disappears. That's probably a DLSS uh, glitch. Meh. 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 Fedya is very thick. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, that's the lesser zone. The other, ah, there we go. There's the, the uh, bar area and uh, the, the cement factory, was it? Or, or wild zone, there we go. Ah, oh, they even included the whole graveyard there. Uh, the, the vehicle graveyard. Uh, that should be radar. Yes, that's the radar. Definitely. Okay, so they've changed a few places. Radar definitely should be somewhere. Red forest. I think, right? Should be Red Forest. Dude, this looks real cool. Okay. Oh, shashlik! Fuck yeah! Oh, now I want some shashlik. <laughs> Seize them. Easy now. Nobody's going anywhere. If That dude at the back is just simply... Well then, in times of war... Yeah, okay, at least on the bright side they have improved the ladders <laughs> from Stalker series, Jesus. Oh, those were some gnarly ladders in Shadow of Chernobyl and the other games. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> it doesn't take much to code this sort of stuff in, but it's... So nice. Okay, knee deep. Uh, ah, ha, ha, I see what they're doing. Okay, that's an invisible wall. Okay, so rivers are invisible walls. Gotcha. So that's how they're sort of limiting you between zones or areas. Okay, fine, let's go swimming again. Ah, okay. I dropped in somewhere here, right? Okay, so this is the bank. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, you're, you're, you drown. You can't swim. Ah, okay. So either there is a bridge, some sort of a small little connective area where the loading would sort of trigger, if you will. Uh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. bridges. Essentially bridges. If you're looking for somebody, go to Zalicia. Talk to Warlock, the local bartender. He might know something. Or maybe not. Okay, uh, maybe with better graph uh, graphic settings the mesh quality improves, but oh boy, that first... That face is ooh, a bit much. <laughs> Gordon, until Cedor went full asshole. He's milking the rookies like freaking cows. If it wasn't for... Yeah, faces are... <laughs> right. Looks like Stalker is doing what uh, what Bethesda is doing. God damn it. Right, so. Move your character in a position for uh, for conversation. I much rather prefer the conversation to take more naturally as, as you're walking, but... Original Stalker technically had that as well. You would walk up to a character, but... You, at least there... There's voice lines, at least now there are voice lines. But I'm not keen on this whole idea that you're walking up to the character and the game takes and positions you in a conversation screen. I'd much rather prefer it to be more organic. Yeah, you could say that uh, Cyberpunk had a better option. Yeah, you're sitting in a car, then you don't really have much of a choice where you're gonna be positioned, sure. But outside of it, you could really just walk around and look at things. And that I much rather prefer, rather than being taken word restrictive, is that comes to my mind. And the one thing I really did not like, and still do not like, about uh, f uh, Fallout, and generally speaking, Bethesda's approach to conversations. Much rather prefer having that freedom, even if I miss those facial movements.
Yeah, here. you can't even it's move your head Richter, as you're talking Lumi, with the character. Myself. Too restrictive. Quint please learn from Cyberpunk. Richter. So, please, GSC, remove or at least do what Bethesda did and allow us to toggle it off, right? Uh, in kind of a way. Just learn from Cyberpunk, please. Fuck. Stalker. Помогите! Люди, помогите! Fuck. Stalker. Yeah, very expressive. Actually modeled. Ah, 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 I saw my view model. <laughs> Okay, here's a little bit of a history lesson from old Stalker games. Especially Shadow of Chernobyl was one of the first games that attempted something similar to what later would become Tessellation. Um, using another texture to sort of increase additional bump map. Well, not exactly bump map, but an actual model detail. Um, that was sort of their earliest approaches. One of the technological things that weirdly they attempted and kind of succeeded in. Uh, it added a little bit of extra detail, essentially, to surfaces like uh, a brick wall, for example. And uh, these days, obviously, you can actually texture things. And uh, yeah, looks like uh, the level of detail they put in well, most models around is genuinely there, which is really nice. Even on the ground, as you're looking at the uh, textures themselves, on the lowest settings, what I'm playing right now, there's just a lot of it. I don't want to consciously say that it looked good, but look at that brick wall, it looked good! Mm! Man, there's still quite a bit of detail on the lowest settings so far away. Games tend to cop out on the level of detail as you're going forward. I mean, yeah, you can you can definitely see a level of detail working there, especially on the grass from the top. That is very noticeable right there, right? Yeah, it's a good place to sort of showcase the difference between uh, the maximum minimum graphics, right? So this is the absolute minimum graphics. And let's put everything to maximum. Obviously, obviously there is the pop-in. Yeah, still, still loading. It is quite detailed! Holy shit! Random lightning strike! Holy sh- Cool! Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Whoa! Okay! A bit louder, but yeah, that must. F mm hmm. Pathfinding is pretty bad. I mean, just look at this. Yeah, constantly massive change. Oh, and here's a really interesting sight. You can see there's no one around here. And then, as I turn around, suddenly an AI spawns in some enemies. Yeah, and this is kind of a problem with the whole game, too. It's much like Cyberpunk's. Uh, Randomly spawning enemies, or cops specifically. There's no A life, so it creates kind of a boring encounters and also bullshit encounters like these. Oh, and if you're wondering why I can't hit this guy's head, well, this is frame generation. Yes, it does smooth out things, but unfortunately, it also makes the gameplay feel more jelloy. And underneath, there's still that 20 to 40 frames a second, which makes the gameplay pretty poor for FPS games. Uh-huh, yeah, uh, not very good AI. Oh, come on. Half-Life managed to code this stuff already years ago. It's not that hard. Yep, that's the, sadly, extent. They still haven't uh, figured out how to give AI jumping capabilities, and with the exception of snorks, which made them more threatening, and the same thing with dogs. Now, the thing is, yes, of course, these uh, bloodsuckers are quite smart. They didn't go right into the, that an anomaly. Yes, that was really cool, but the fact is, at this point, the AI doesn't know what to do, so it goes and hides. Not in a good place. Stalker is no more super highly detailed FPS game like uh, back in the day it could have been called. Like unloading your magazine. 
or the fact that you are loading a magazine, right? You got eight bullets and reload again because it one is in the chamber and now you have nine plus the full magazine. That little detail, still, even to this day, not a lot of games tend to have. And that's the wonderful thing about Stalker. And they kept it. Here's an interesting s difference between Stalker, Shadow Chernobyl, as well as all the other, and this game. Looking at a character with a gun aimed, characters don't really react when in Shadow Chernobyl, they specifically did, and asked you to holster the fucking weapon. Mm, come on, that's a little detail that is just good to have, also good to portray in games, right? Uh, good gun safety is a thing you should. Just see ya. Put down the gun. Put down the gun, okay? Oh. And the thing is, my bias is, is I love Stalker, right? I love Stalker quite a bit. And I, I want it to be good, right? We all want good games. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking at little details. Where's the problems? Like the faces, okay, lowest graphic settings, fine. But even still, it's just... And I'm trying to fight against my urge to say that it's good. That look good! Insert the uh, angry show meme, right? That look good! That look good! Like... Ugh. Even on the lowest graphics settings. Well, the frame rate is a problem. The, the performance is a problem, even right now, right? At least I can understand, understand where the performance is going. Unlike Starfield! Uh, 76, but that's with a fakey fake uh, frame generation. Yeah, you know what? Let's put everything to absolute lowest. Okay, so without any fakey fakes and DLSS on performance, I'm getting 40. 47, 46 frames a second. So if I turn off DLSS completely, right? Okay, 30. I'm hitting 30. Uh, put it all on high. Actually, okay, let's burn my poor PC. <laughs> It. Right, so, uh, epic, no DLSS, just everything ep uh, maximum, with exception of anti-aliasing. Uh, DLSS off. Let it load it in. 21 frames a second. If I had better CPU, maybe it would be uh, 25, but, uh, yeah. That's all my poor uh, 2080 Ti can do. <laughs> Grenade sounds actually not bad. Combat eating. <laughs> hey, not exactly the Skyrim, but oh boy, tactical cold boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still gonna die. No. Combat snack. Combat snack. Combat snack. Come on. Combat snack. Cold boss. Let's go. Come on. Combat snack. Fuck! Yeah, frame rate is really, really, really stunned, making me stumble. Hard to play with low frames and inconsistent frame rates. Damn. Oh, wow! Okay, frame... Okay, here's a little... <laughs> frame generation is cool for making the making you feel like there's more frames than there actually are. However, it does produce some problems. So, you cl crouch, you get a little bit of vignette on your camera. And as you're turning your head, oh, you can see the frame generation <laughs> generation work at the top right there. Yeah, in the stream you can see that too. Okay, so in Stalker, you could kill any NPC. So... Ah, no! No. Come on, Stalker. No. Damn. Point is, old Stalker games actually accounted for ability to kill things, or other uh, missions would still be able to progress further if you killed NPCs that were seemingly crucial. So who did I save? Okay, can I kill him? I can. I'm just testing, I'm just testing, so some characters can't be killed, but you know, this is just a side quest, fine. Let's try something. Uh, where's the explosions? 
Oh no. Ah, it's a scene. <laughs> I'm looking for solder. Oh crap. No. Oh, damn. It's missing glass sound effect. <laughs> oh no, I just noticed. It does exactly the same thing as Cyberpunk did. There's no <laughs> glass sound effect. Oh, come on! Talker, Shadow, and Chernobyl all had at least some noise as you're moved through the bushes. But this game... Not really. There is no noise as you're moving through the bushes. You don't need vision or sound-based vision, but you do need sound as you're moving through the environment a bit more. That's the beauty of Stalker series. It was atmospheric because of sound design quite a bit too. Oh yeah, FSR is kind of... Well, DLSS is kind of killing the visuals there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Fuck, 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 fuck. Heal. That was, come on, heal! Yeah, yeah, you have fun. God damn! <laughs> that fucking face! Heal, you fucking idiot! Access it. Ah, there's a bug. Okay, so this is a bug now. Yep, I can't interact with- Oh, crap! Yep, great. Well, Skiff is one uh, tough son of bi son bitch. Well, I guess Stalker is experiencing some Star Citizen vibes here. Yep, very much so. And yet it's still more playable. <laughs> Why? Don't be stupid. You can't hide for Yay, bugs! Get you sooner or later. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. For now, all I can say is uh, it's a bit too early for me to put a full kibosh on uh, the judgment there, but uh, I'll be uh, testing out a couple more uh, things uh, about the game uh, off the stream. So if you're looking for a game to play right now and uh, have good time, right, uh, hold it off for first patches, couple at least, because yeah, the performance is really gonna ruin it for you. Really gonna ruin it for you. And that's the shittiest part. That is really the shittiest part. Performance really does suck.